Hello and welcome to our tutorial today from Pearson Communications on how to edit and unpublish a page or a post in WordPress 3.0. My name is Cherie Pearson and I'll be walking you through this tutorial. So many times we'll actually create a page or a post and we'll discover maybe there's an error in it or we need to update it. So there's many reasons why we may want to change or edit or even delete a post that we've previously made or even a page. So let's go ahead and understand what, 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 what we need. Now the first thing is that we have one article that we actually wrote on the site. There's also another article that WordPress default just puts in there so that you will um, have an example of what a post or an article will look like on your, pay, on your uh, website. In our case, we want to get rid of that. And so the, the post is typically titled, uh, Hello World. So let's just click on that so you can actually see um, what we mean. So it, it says, you know, welcome to the Pearson Communications Network. This is your post, edit or delete it, when, and then start making your own entries. So we don't need that post because it's just a plain old post. We're going to go to our dashboard. And uh, the place that we want to go from the dashboard is to our list of posts that we have. So we'll click on posts. And then once we click on posts, we'll see we have our two posts there. One is that was auto-generated by WordPress, and then the other post, uh, which is one an article that we actually posted ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how we can edit uh, a post, or actually we'll delete a post first. So the hello post, we just want to delete that. So we click on hello world and the bulk actions we want to move that to the trash and then click apply and as you can tell it is a very very simple process to delete any post directly from your list of posts um, now in in this case we want to maybe edit our other post now let's say that I discover that I have a typo in the post when we click on edit it'll automatically show us our post. We can correct our typo right here in the editor. If we wanted to maybe add, it, add different categories, any types of changes we need to make, we can go ahead and make them. And it's quite similar to the first time when you created the post. Other important things that you should know about are in, involve, maybe it's published already, and instead of hitting draft, we hit publish, and it published our post, and we weren't ready to do that. So we can click over here under status. Right now it's published, and we can click on draft and what that'll do is that will actually take the post back to a draft status which means it's not going to show to the public and it's back in draft so I'm clicking on draft and now we see that we're in draft status and then I'm going to click update post and then now when we go to our home page we should see even though right now we see the actual post and the contents are still there it's not deleted but it's just basically on hold until we're ready and finished with that post to go ahead and make it um, published so when we go back to our home page if I um, if I click on home again we'll see that now none found because right now we don't have any published posts now we go back to our back end where we have the post and uh, make whatever changes we want to make. Now, if we wanted to maybe say, I want to publish the post at a particular date and time, we can do that by entering the date and time we want to publish it, and then it will schedule that. So let's just say, today's uh, August the 22nd, but let's just say we want to post it tomorrow around the same time. I'll just put in the date and I'll click OK. And uh, the, the last step for this would be to click the schedule button. That's the equivalent of like a published button for a post that is going to be published sometime in the future. So if we were to go back to our posts list now, we will see that this post is still here, everything we had is there, and it is now scheduled to be posted at some point in the future. But right now we think, okay, the post is done, we don't have any posts on our site, what if people come and they want to at least read something? So let's go back in, let's edit it again, and instead of uh, publishing it for some point in the future, we're just going to go ahead and edit it, change the date back to today's date, which is the 22nd, and click OK. Now uh, we get another, we get the publish button, we'll go ahead and click that to publish our, um, our post, and we are done. So now when we go back to the home page, if we refresh that page, we will see that our post appears here and it has the date and the time. Now another thing that you should know about posts, their dates and times and such, is, uh, and I'll go take you back to this, this post listing, all of your posts that you have will appear in this list, let's say if you have 10, 12, however many you have, they'll appear in a list and then once um, that page fills up, they'll go over into subsequent pages. 
And if maybe you wanted posts to appear in a certain order, um, one way you can manipulate that is by changing the time that that post was published. Uh, let's say that you're giving a tutorial on how to do something, and you want that tutorial to appear in order. And for some reason, you had to go back and edit something or, you know, make changes or do something else, and, and so they got out of order. All you have to do is go and make sure if you want them to appear in certain order, they will, the post will appear on the blog in the order in which you posted them. Uh, so not, not when you made the changes that time, but when the scheduled post time is. So if you scheduled it for tomorrow, even though I may have done the one I scheduled for tomorrow first and scheduled it, the one that I posted today will appear first. And so they go by the date that it was actually posted. So you can manipulate that if you want to to be able to change how, the order that these uh, posts or articles appear on your site. Thank you very much for joining me today for how to edit or unpublish uh, a page or a post on your WordPress 3.0 site. My name is Sharee Pearson and I'm of Pearson Communications. If you have any questions about how to operate WordPress 3.0, please visit our website at www.pearsoncommunications.com or you can email us at tutorials at pearsoncommunication.com and we'd be happy to answer your question and if we select your question we may actually create a tutorial just for you on the question that you have again thank you for joining me today and have a great day bye bye